You are correct. It is a reptile. It is the water monitor. It's our young friend. We've actually seen this water monitor on a number of different occasions, believe it or not. It loves this little termite mound. Now, it's obviously gaining the warmth that it is emitting. Look at that long tongue. Isn't that great? Just testing around. It's obviously how they taste. They're able to pick up on any pheromones. Are you going to go inside there? And I'm not sure where it's living. If it's actually living inside that termite mound or if it's going to utilize the trees and other things, but it looks like it wants to head down on in there. Now, it's not because of us, because if it was worried about us being here, we've actually sat here for a few minutes already, it would have gone in straight away. And I think it's gone, oh, I'm exhausted. Careful you don't get stuck. <laughs> it almost looked like it wasn't going to fit for a minute. That was quite funny, actually. Come on, let the tail go down now, too. It must be quite a tight crevice and that's why it's taking its time trying to navigate and move through there. Perhaps it's going to outgrow its home and it's going to have to find another spot. But don't worry, there's many potential houses out here, especially if you are a water monitor or a reptile of any sort. There's lots of big fallen trees that they can live in. That was the most dramatic sort of escape I've ever seen. <laughs> Ah, oh, Laura Moore, you say that you love this. This is great sighting. You can still see the tip of its tail. It's just sticking out now. It looks just like a stick. But it eventually will curl itself up. And it's, I think it's obviously living in here too. Now, it's a good spot because there's lots of nests on the trees. You can see around here from the various birds. And they love to get eggs. It's one of their favorite things to feed on. So I'm sure it will try and uh, get all of them. Where are you, Cape Glossy Starling? I can hear you making that strange noise. Make a call. They almost remind me of a cat. Can you hear it? Oh, here's one here. Actually, just on the ground next to us, hopping about in some elephant dung. Not, it's not the one that's making all the noise. That seems to be sitting in the tree somewhere. But this little fella is moving about looking for all sorts of little insects. They're one of my favorite birds. I think they're my favorite starling species. Although I also am quite fond of the violet back starlings and I look forward to seeing them again. We should start seeing them soon. Look at that beautiful eye. I think in terms of bird having birds having contrasting colours, the Cape Glossy Starling is my absolute favourite. And I love the little black dots that they have on the edge of their wings and a little tinge of purple too this afternoon. Stunning, absolutely stunning birds. And off it goes. Now, unfortunately, we don't have very many hippos here at the moment. In order for us to go and see some hippos, it's going to require us to move down into the distance. If you take a look, we, we go there quite often, uh, but there is, they're all the way down there. So we need to do a bit of maneuvering so we can get a closer view. It's not particularly nice. We're just looking at the bottom of decks. So you can see the fence and then also they're so far away. So I, I would like to reposition. So while I do that, I'm going to send you back across to Tristan, who's still with the lions. They should be getting active now. Who knows what's going to happen, but I'm sure Tristan's going to be patient and wait them out.